guys, Lori, I mentioned before that I was making a baby blanket for a friend. She's been gone six months or so now. She worked with us um, at the post office and she got pregnant and she decided to go home to her family in Texas. And I told her, I'll make you a baby blanket. Um, I was hoping I'd get it done sooner. It's been sitting around for a while. All I needed to do was weave my ends in and the baby's four months old now, so I thought I would show you what it did. I'm putting a package together for her, and um, because that's what I do. Um, I bought her a, I'm probably gonna put this up after she gets it so that um, she won't see it. I bought her a bag with her name on it, just a cat from one of my catalog stores. It's a really nice duffel bag. It's kind of nice to have, you know, she's got a baby, if she wants to go someplace, go visit somebody, or just put some kids stuff in here, throw it in the car. It's not really a diaper bag, but it depends. It could be <laughs> anything. Anything could be a diaper bag. So, <laughs> um, I will show you what I did. But, now it's a boy baby. His name's Sebastian, and he's a, he's a big boy. He's not, I mean, he's growing fast. He seems to be growing really fast. So when he was, let's see, if he's only four months now, I bought 12 month size clothes, just because he looks like he's gonna grow really fast. So I'm uh, sending her one of my bags that I bought, because everybody needs a bag for something. Um, adding in a uh, little bag. Now she has some nieces that she likes. She, she, she has family there and she has some nieces and she just loves her nieces. They play softball and everything. So I am sending some stuff that I had. Um, I went to Raising Canes and got a kid's meal and they gave me a toy. So I'm putting that in there. Um, there's a toy from Wendy's I put in there. There's also that little flower pen that I have. And then there's a thing I found at Dollar Tree. It's a game. Let me show you because it looks like it might be fun for somebody else. Not me, but it's called Barking Chicken. And a mix-up charade game for two or more players. So, yeah. All right. There's two pictures. You draw two cards, a top and a bottom, and then you have to play charades to find out what it is. I thought I thought they might like that. That might be fun for uh, young kids. So, okay, I got that. Alrighty. That I'm sending along. And I did decide this. I'm sending this, this craft, because she's going to have it before the holidays and this might be fun to do with, the, with her nieces. It makes six. I'm going to send her that. I got some clothes for the baby, of course. You have to have clothes for the baby. This is a little shark suit. It is sleeveless, and she is in Texas, and it, it is still hot right now. So, but then again, when a baby's in the house, sometimes it's, you know, it's warm in the house. You don't always need to keep them dressed warm. So, yeah, this has got sharks on it. Opens in the bottom, because you need it to. And... I don't know. He, he's been wearing stuff that, um, I don't, she hasn't said what size he's wearing, but these are 12 month. Cookie. Cookie monster. Oh God, I said that word. They just ate, so they're not worried about it. So it comes, it's a, uh, one, two, four piece jammies. It comes with that one. And it comes with this one. Two short sleeve tops and two pants. So four pieces. It's Carter's or Sesame Street. So that's Sesame Street. And uh, everybody has to have some Mickey Mouse. Gotta have some Mickey jammies. Some red ones. And some white ones. So there we go. And now, oh, I did put a little thing together for her, of course, my Bath and Body Works. I have stuff. I put together a couple things for her 
couple sanitizers, a shower gel, and a, and a lotion, all matching. Um, I gave her the honey wildflower. And now, let me back this up a little. My baby blanket that I made. I bought a lot of this yarn because I thought I was going to use a lot, and I didn't. This is Burnett Blanket, Man in the Moon. Green, purple, dark purple. And what I did was just a V-stitch. I just went back and forth on a V-stitch. And then I did single crochet around the border. And with the sparkle Burnett baby, this was the pink, the yellow sparkle. I did the, um, the windows, the window one, and then I did treble into the windows. I did a uh, shell, a three into the window. So it would add a border onto it. So kind of my own thing. This was not a pattern I got from anybody. Um, I figured it would be the fastest and it's about looks like it's about two feet by 30 maybe but this is a good size to lay on the floor and put the baby on it's really soft but it's not too big for him to want to cuddle with it and drag it around with him if he decides he likes it so yeah this is set around here way longer than it, way longer than it should have. So that's going to be going. I'm going to be putting that in the mail this weekend to send to her and probably not put this up till she gets it.